the hell are we supposed to use, man? Harsh language. Take all my fucking money, Marvel. Just take it. I'm gonna fucking give Kevin Feige my fucking routing and account number. <laughs> Just fucking withdraw every cent. Ah, man. I'm so excited. I'm so See, excited. That, that trailer was pretty enjoyable, but that's probably because I have no knowledge about Thor, so... Even if it was a spoiler in there, I don't even know what the fuck I really just watched. But it looks good. It looks fun. <laughs> Let's see who you are. I take off your disguise. And flip. Oh, flip too hard, damn it! Shall we help him? I mean, eventually. Grape. <laughs> well, listen. Now, there's some Easter eggs in there, but. Oh, sure. Funny. Okay. I did see the all black, by the way. They got fucking yeah. Christian Bale looking like Voldemort. Yeah. As Gore the God That's, Butcher. I love right. him. Yeah, he's known now at this point for transforming his body for his roles. He's, he's a great method actor. He is. Uh, but Marvin, to catch you up, get you up to speed, Thor here. We got Thor who has had a tumultuous journey through the MCU. Kids, get your popcorn now. Let me tell you the story of the space viking, Thor Odinson. He was no ordinary man. He was a god. After saving planet Earth for the 500th time, Thor set off on a new journey. Well, he got in shape. He went from dead bod to god bod. And after all that, Mjolnir. he reclaimed his title as the one and only Thor. Oh, spook too soon. He started out very uh, sort of Shakespearean in how they presented him and uh, didn't hit big with fans. I mean, the movie was wildly popular. I love the movie. Um, Thor 2, uh, The Dark World, is probably considered one of Marvel's like weaker movies. Um, and then Thor uh, Ragnarok really sort of kicked him into high gear. When uh, Marvel brought in Taika Waititi, uh, whom I know you know, Marvin, because he made uh, What We Do in the Shadows, which I know you've Ooh, watched, including yes. the show. Very funny filmmaker. And he really transformed Thor and kind of made him more of a comical character. He's still a fucking badass, in my opinion. One of my buddies who's like a huge comic book uh, en enthusiast takes a little bit of issue with uh, how they've presented Thor thus far, but um, really? yeah, but he's gone on a journey, and uh, you know this guy's been through fucking, you know, saving the world several times with the Avengers. He's fucking lost his fucking poor hammer, lost his dad, lost his girlfriend, lost. Wasn't his... he depressed and overweight? Yeah, one time. Yeah, that's yeah. because his whole fuck. He's lost everything. Yeah, he's had one of the more. Um, sad story arcs. I yeah, think you could say like, yeah, he lost his brother, lost his best friend, lost his mom mm -hmm. and dad, lost his whole fucking planet, and then yep. and then subsequently, his his, like pretty much everyone he's ever loved. And yeah, by Endgame, he's a little bit depressed and gained a little bit of weight. He's yelling at kids on Xbox Live. <laughs> that was uh, but here in Thor: Love and Thunder, it seems as though he has uh, set himself on a journey to find himself and who he wants to be. Because uh, that's kind of where they leave you um, after Ragnarok. Like, you know, his dad kind of instills him with this final parting message of, like, you're not defined by, like, the hammer or whatever. You could be whoever you want to be. And I think this is where this movie's going to take him. But we got Jane Foster coming back, played by Natalie Portman, who got fucking jacked for this movie. Yeah. I I've seen pictures of her arms. She's... Fucking, she could break me in half, dude. Jane? The old ex-girlfriend. What's it been like? Three, four years? <laughs> Eight years, seven months, and six days. Give or take. Am I uh, sensing feelings? <laughs> well, you're right. I, I wonder if that's like if she's actually oh that jacked God. or if there's some CGI in the No, no, I think she's that Dude. jacked because if you look at the pictures, like she's whoops, she's been like working out fucking hard. Yeah. I yeah, typed in some... Natalie Portman and the second one is like Natalie Portman buff. That's how oh, you know yeah. it's real. Yep. Yeah. Google knows. But yeah, she's buff. She she's uh now playing well, not playing, she's still Jane Foster, but uh 
Lady Thor, as uh, right. they did in the comic books. I'm not super familiar with that storyline. Uh, but apparently she is now worthy to wield Mjolnir, the mighty Mjolnir. She was sick and dying and was given the power of Mjolnir to mm. get better. And that's how I thought it was pretty cool how the hammer broke apart when she threw it out. And then like the, the pieces, you know, it's still it's still broken and she can use the piece instead of just throwing the one hammer out. It breaks up into pieces. Oh, now. is that what that was in the trailer where she took out all those that's... like things? Yeah, when she yeah, she, that was she pieces of Mjolnir. That was pieces of. Mjolnir. Oh, okay, I didn't well, catch that. Like that's what it looked like to me. I don't know. Okay, good catch, Maybe good I'm catch. Wrong, yeah. Um, and we got Russell Crowe coming in here as fucking Zeus. We're gonna see yep. some of the uh, Olympian gods of Greece, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty fucking excited about this movie. All uh, the gods must die, apparently. Yeah, well, that's Gore's whole fucking yep. whole deal. He does not like gods. I don't either, nope. to be fair, but, you know, I'm not going to go around and <laughs> the kill them all. The only ones who gods care about is themselves. So this is my vow. All gods will die. Uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, you know, last time we spoke, we kind of briefly touched on the fact that, like, I've been getting a little bit worried about, like, where Marvel's going and how some of the movies kind of haven't been landing for me, uh, nor did Moon Knight. Um, hey, you could check out our review of Moon Knight on YouTube. Yeah. Um, but this, I don't know, this has me instantly excited, and I think it's part of that theory that I had where it's like, he's a legacy character, and you know, we're getting to see another part of his, like, I guess, journey. We'll see what happens, but I'm excited about this. Marvin, as somebody who's not, like, a deep, devoted MCU nut, yeah, do you get excited for these movies, or are you more just like, eh, I'll watch it? Yeah, honestly, it's more like, it seems like I can enjoy that. I can get into this. Okay. Yeah. So, there you have it, folks. Thor Love and Thunder. Get excited, because I am. <laughs> I am I'm going to... July? Is that when it's coming out? Uh, let's take a look here. Thor, Love, and Thunder release date. That's how you Google, folks. <laughs> um, True. July 8th, 2022, yep. in this, the okay. year of our Lord. I just want to say that was very, very impressive, what you did back there. It's just my first bad guy. <sighs> Never forget you first. You are not like the other gods that kill. Because I have something worth fighting for. What's up, people? Dan here. Just to remind you that if you enjoyed the video, to please go ahead and hit the like button. It really helps us out. And uh, it lets us know that we're doing an okay job. If you want to be notified for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling extra spicy, hit that little bell button down below. Give it a little, give it a little tickle.